the world of high energy physics, where scientists explore the fundamental building blocks of the universe, is a realm of both incredible discovery and potential danger. In 1978, a young Soviet scientist named Anatoly Bogorsky had a close encounter with a particle accelerator that left him with a unique and unsettling experience. He was struck in the head by a high energy proton beam. In this video, we'll delve into the extraordinary story of Anatoly Bogorsky, exploring the circumstances of the accident, the immediate and long-term effects of the radiation exposure, and the remarkable resilience of the human body in the face of such an extraordinary event. We'll examine the science behind particle accelerators, the safety protocols that are in place to prevent such accidents, and the potential risks associated with working in these high-energy environments. We'll also consider the ethical implications of scientific research and the importance of balancing the pursuit of knowledge with the safety and well-being of those involved. And who knows, perhaps the next big discovery in radiation safety or the understanding of the human brain will be made by someone watching this video right now. Anatoly Bogorsky, a Russian particle physicist, is known not for his groundbreaking discoveries or scientific achievements but for a rather unusual and unsettling experience. He survived a radiation accident in 1978 where a high-energy proton beam from a particle accelerator passed through his head. This extraordinary event, a rare and unfortunate incident in the history of high-energy physics, has made Bogorsky a subject of both scientific curiosity and human resilience. His story offers a glimpse into the potential dangers of working with powerful particle accelerators and the remarkable ability of the human body to withstand even the most extreme forms of radiation exposure. Bogorsky's accident occurred while he was working at the U-70 Synchrotron, a particle accelerator located at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Propvino, Russia. This machine, one of the most powerful of its kind at the time, was used to accelerate protons to incredibly high speeds, creating beams of particles that could be used to study the fundamental building blocks of matter. On July 13th of 1978, Bogorsky was inspecting a malfunctioning piece of equipment on the synchrotron when a safety mechanism failed. As he leaned over to get a closer look, his head entered the path of the 76 GeV proton beam. The beam entered the back of Bogorsky's head, passing through his brain, his middle ear, and exiting through his nose. He describes seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but surprisingly, he didn't feel any pain at the moment of impact. The beam, carrying an estimated 200,000 to 300,000 rads of radiation, delivered a massive dose of energy to Bogorsky's head and brain. The effects were immediate and dramatic. Despite the severity of the accident, Bogorsky, in a state of shock and perhaps denial, continued working on the malfunctioning equipment and didn't immediately report the incident to anyone. This delayed his medical treatment and likely contributed to the severity of the long-term effects he would experience. The aftermath of the accident was a long and arduous journey for Bogorsky. The left side of his face swelled dramatically and over the next few days, the skin began to peel revealing the path of the proton beam as it burned through his flesh, bone, and brain tissue. Doctors were pessimistic about his chances of survival. The dose of radiation he received was far beyond what was considered fatal, and they expected him to succumb to radiation sickness within a matter of weeks. However, Bogorsky defied the odds. Despite the severity of his injuries and the grim prognosis, he not only survived but also managed to complete his PhD and continued his career as a particle physicist. While the accident left him with lasting physical effects, including paralysis on the left side of his face, hearing loss in his left ear, and occasional seizures, Bogorsky's intellectual capacity remained largely intact. He continued to work at the Institute for High Energy Physics, coordinating physics experiments and contributing to scientific research. The Soviet Union's policy of secrecy surrounding nuclear-related issues meant that Bogorsky couldn't speak publicly about his accident for over a decade. He became a regular patient at a Moscow radiation clinic where he underwent examinations and met with other victims of radiation accidents. His case was closely studied by Soviet and Russian radiation medicine specialists, making him a poster boy for the field. Amidst the scientific curiosity and the exploration of the accident's effects on Bogorsky's health, it's important to remember that he was also a person with a life, a family, and aspirations beyond his role as a scientist. Bogorsky was married to Vera Nikolaevna, and they had a son named Peter. The accident undoubtedly had a profound impact on their lives, but they faced the challenges together, demonstrating the power of love and support in overcoming adversity. 
Wigorski's personal life, while largely kept out of the public eye, reminds us that behind every scientific discovery, every experiment, and even every accident, there are human stories, relationships, and emotions that shape the individuals involved. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.